hi guys welcome back to my channel today on the channel we are going to use our pattern that we drafted in the previous lesson to cut our fabric and sew a short pant all right so this is the front pattern i indicated that we are going to be cutting two of this i already had my allowance to the side and every other part okay then i indicated that we are going to be cutting two for the front just like i have here i have two piece for the front then as for the back i also indicated that we are going to be cutting two which i also have to here just like you see all right then we also learn how to draft a side pocket with pocket facing and pocket bag with a slanted um, facing just like I have here. I already traced out just like I told us in the previous lesson. We're going to trace it out on a piece of fabric or a piece of paper and we're going to cut it. So I have four pieces here because I'm going to be using two for both sides of the front pattern because we're going to be joining our pocket to the front pattern. Okay. So now, having said that, the next thing we are going to do now is to decide if we still want a standard facing or we want it to be straight, just like the one I have here, all right? So, having decided that, the next thing we are going to do now is to start working on the um, pattern itself before we fix the pocket. If you want a slanted um, pocket facing, you are going to cut it out, and if not, you leave it like that. So the next thing we are going to do now is to create the waistband. But before that, we are going to be closing our waistband. Then we are going to be tracing out our waistband on another piece of paper, just like I have here. All right. So the first thing you want to do is to close your waist that like so. Then you are going to place it on this piece of paper, just like I have here. All right. So I'm going to close this waist that because before we join the waistband, we need to stitch our waist that then at the same time we have our seam allowance we are going to trace out the waist band without the seam allowance because we already joined the front and the back together before fixing the band just like you see me doing you can either trace it out with a straight uh, line like so or use a dotted line that you connect together later do not forget the seam allowance you need to remove the allowance all right so after tracing it out, you are going to have a slight curve. Then, after this, now you are going to mark the waistband height of your choice. So, for this one, I'm going to be using 1.5 inches. I'm going to mark the 1.5 inch from one end of this line to the other, and I'm going to connect with a straight line by this side. Then, after that, I'm going to use my curve ruler to connect this upper part. All right. So, because we are not, we are def definitely not going to have a straight line. So, you are going to use a curve ruler because our body is not straight. So, we need to maintain and um, reflect that shape that we have on our body so that our band will sit well. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, just like you see here, is not totally straight. I'm going to write on this the front waistband because we are going to be doing the back two separately. All right, I'm going to indicate the band height measurement. Always label your pattern in a way you are going to understand. And then another thing you want to do is to indicate the center front and the side front. As for the center front, I'm going to be cutting on fold. I already indicate with this symbol of a go post. I'm sorry. That is what I can remember. Then I'm going to add my 0 0.5 to the side front. Okay, the center front is not going to need any allowance because it's on fold already. So after this, I'm going to add 0 0.5 inch all around my pattern, and I'm done with that. Okay, so this is what you are going to have, and our front waistband is ready. I'm going to repeat the same process for the back, okay? And we are going to be cutting two of each of this pattern, because we are going to need the lining and the main fabric, all right? So let's repeat the same process for the back pattern, all right? So we're going to cut the waist that as well. Then we are going to be tracing it out exactly the way we did for the front so if you don't understand what i'm trying to say please just watch what i'm doing closely it's almost it's even the same process it's just that the back is not going to be caught on fold because we're going to be having our zipper at the back but if you want to have your zipper at the front because it's definitely not going to be at the side because we already have our pockets by the side but maybe it is possible we are going to find out later only if we try okay so for the back pattern you're going to repeat the same process and we're going to be having our zip at the back if you want your zip at the front i already have a video on how to fix a zip a front zip with zipper fly so kindly check the description box i'll drop the link 
to that video there so go ahead and watch it's very simple easy fast and super interesting okay so i'm just going to do this for the back band and then we move to the next thing after all this process i'm just going to transfer my pattern to the fabric okay so guys now i'm done transferring and this is what i have okay i already cut two for each so the back is going to be having four because we are going to be having two um piece of fabric on one side on both sides because it's going to be two of course and the front is going to be like this unfold we're going to be having two so i'm going to indicate the upper part and the lower part by notching the center this will help me when i want to join the band to the waist of the trouser okay but before this now i'm going to add my feasible interface on all of this especially the one i want to use for the main fabric after that, the next thing we are going to do is to work on the waist itself. We are going to be taking the waist out before we join the pocket to the front pattern. We need to join the pocket before we join the back. Alright, so I already have my pocket just like I've said before. And this is going to be here and this other one is going to be here like so. Alright, then as for the back pattern, I'm going to join. I'm going to stitch the waist out as well. So after this now, the next thing I'm going to do now is take this to the sewing machine and i'm going to start from this point here this um upper part i'm going to stitch around following the shape that i have up to this up other part all right so remember we have a pocket opening that gets up to the five inches like five to five point five then the same thing i'm going to repeat the same process for the second one all right i'm going to notch this part by the time i'm done because i want to use this to explain some other things to us so now I'm done with the waist that for the front and I did the same thing for the back as well. Then after which I'm done with this now, I go ahead and stitch my pocket together. When you want to stitch this pocket, you make sure that the right side is facing the right side. So by the time you turn it inside out, you're going to top stitch and you're going to notch it. So if you want a straight, you're going to leave it like this. But if you want a slanted or a curve um, pocket facing, you're going to trace it out. Just like this one that we are about to do now. Okay, we want a slanted pocket facing for this one. So for this one, I have 5 inches for the opening plus my seam allowance. I have 5.5 .5 inches altogether. So I'm going to mark my 5.5 .5 inches like so. So this area that I notch is to make it easier for me to turn around like so. In case I want to have a straight pocket opening, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not going to shape it or anything all right but if it's going to be slanted i'm going to be cutting off this part and at the same time i'll cut off the main pattern as well so just watch what i'm about to do okay so if you are confused you can just come in with your pattern just like i have here as you can see so you can simply trace it out using your tracing wheel or you just measure all your measurement that you have there and trace it or transfer it to your main pattern just like i'm about to do now okay so i'm just going to trace out the pattern but remember you have your 0 0.5 allowance by the side on top by the hem area so just be conscious of all the measurements and you mark it out like so so after marking out the next thing is to cut out this facing okay and we're going to do the same thing on the pocket bag as well remember the pocket bag and the pocket facing are the same thing so i'm going to cut this out just watch the way i'm cutting i'm not cutting totally straight okay then i'm going to cut and mind this shape okay so the same thing goes to the um, pocket bag you can decide to cut out the shape or you just stitch the pocket to the main fabric first and cut it out later either ways but i'll just suggest you try the two and see which one is better so i'm going to do this now Take it to the sewing machine i'm going to stitch it with my sewing allowance all right so i'm going to do that now and show us what it's going to look like after sewing so guys i'm done sewing and this is what i have all right so i'm going to do the same thing for the second side of the front pattern as you can see my 0 0.5 inch is still there for me to be able to join this back pattern all right so the next thing you're going to do after this one now i'm done with the second one and i'm just going to place the back pattern on this front like so and this is the reason why we need to notch that 0 0.5 inches so that by the time you flip it to the front it's going to look like this okay so guys i'm done with the pocket and i'm going to be placing the back on the front 
all right so after placing it on it i'm going to take it to the sewing machine i'm going to join it with my 0 0.5 inch by the side then we are going to come back to see the half look or the outcome of it before we join the crotch areas together now that i'm done joining this is what is going to look like this is what we are going to have this is what you should have all right so after this now i'm going to place the two parts together and as you can see the wrong side you see that my stitching or my sewing passed through this half inch and it does not disturb my pocket because i already had it that i already indicate that while cutting so i'm going to place this i'm going to arrange my pockets the side and make sure everything aligns together then i'm going to place it on the on each other rather i'm sorry about that i'm going to place it on each other and i'm going to stitch the crotch area starting from the front first okay and then when you want to join the back crotch you measure from the front your waist circumference and whatever allowance you have left you're going to stitch it like that okay i'm going to run a temporary stitch on the back crotch okay i'm done this is what i have so i have a temporary stitch on the back i'm going to lose it back because i want to fix my zip at the back so i'm going to measure up to where i want my zip to stop and do not forget we have our waistband so you include the band height um in your measurement as well so now you're going to place the crotch on each other this way make sure it aligns the front and the back then you are going to start sewing round all right so after sewing you are going to fold in the m of your shorts with whatever allowance you had it for me i just had it one inch so guys i'm done with the joining of the crotch now i'm going to fix my waistband all right so if you do not want your zipper to enter the waistband you're going to fix the zip right now but if you want it to enter the waistband that means you're going to fix your band before fixing the zipper all right and the way i'm going to be fixing the zip i'm going to be cutting out the excess because it's definitely longer so i'm going to include my band height to whatever measurement i want to measure on the back crotch okay so it's going to get to the hip line area so that i'll be able to wear it conveniently okay so i'm going to work on my waistband add my visible interface join the upper part I'm just going to work on this waistband. I already explained what we are going to do earlier. So I'm just going to do that now and come back to show us what we should have. Okay, guys, I'm done and this is what I have. Okay, I already had my fusible interface. Then I use my pressing iron to fold in 0.5 inch so it will be easier for me when I want to sew. And as you can see, we have a slight curve. It's not totally straight. So this is 0.5 inch. It will be easier for me when I want to sew. So to fix the band, you are going to start from the main, um, from the lining. You place it on the wrong side, starting from the center front. You notch the center, you pin it like this, and you hold it down together up to the back. Make sure it aligns, all right? Because you're going to be having a zip at the back, of course. So this is what you're going to do. And once you are done sewing, you flip it back to the right side of the trouser. Then you're going to stitch it all around so guys i'm done and this is what i have okay as you can see you finish up your sewing on the right side and at the back i'm going to be fixing my zip at the back okay so and with this i'm going to fold the m of the shorts and with this you are done with the trouser our shorts and as you can see the band is sitting properly sitting well there's no gaping the upper part as this slight shape or slight curve or whatever so after which i'm done with fixing the zipper i'm going to use this remaining allowance i have here so that's why you need to take your measurement once again just to be sure that you are on point or probably your measurement is just correct just go ahead and cross check your measurement okay so after this i'm going to fix my zip i'm going to fold the m of the short then we are done with this trouser so i'm going to put on this trouser after which i'm done try it on to show us how exactly it's going to look like and we are done with this tutorial then so this is what we have as you can see you dip your hand into your pocket and the depth of your pocket will determine on how far your hand will go just like i have mine here okay so that will be all for this tutorial thank you very much once again for supporting this channel for always coming back um i really appreciate your efforts okay so guys please do not forget to subscribe to the channel click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it 
click on the share button so that we can reach as many people as possible do not forget to drop your comment to the comment section give this video a thumbs up and then till next time that i see you in my next tutorial please do take care of yourself and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you will know so and as for this area if you want it to be more tight you are going to hotter that of course on your pattern paper but i just want mine to be loose like this so guys thank you very much and if you have a video request do not forget do not hesitate to drop it for me thank you bye bye